around, it needs to be like hung on a metal spike, basically. <laughs> it's too heavy for everything else. Uh, so it's on like a metal hook in the wall. And that's that's holding it in place right now. And it's the only place I feel happy with it. Uh, follow the, oh, thank you. No, I appreciate it. I, I'm sorry, I don't post to Instagram so often. I really only post, well, to be fair though, when I do post to Instagram, I give a little bit more detail if I can, like explain how we did said thing. But uh, yeah, I don't post as often unless I have like a fair amount of something to show. <laughs> Whereas, cause I do the stream announcements on Twitter, they end up getting like a lot of my half made stuff. <laughs> you want to see half made stuff? There it is, it's all on Twitter. Uh, I think Twitter's the only place that currently has pictures of the tail as well. But that's because it's half made. <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. Ah, uh -huh. where to go from here? Should I keep going around the edge? Oh, I'm not sure. No, I will not continue around the edge. I will instead start going down. That's all right. Ah, oh, dear. Actually, what have I put on my Instagram recently? That's a very good question. I think the last thing would have been the body shot. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I'm so- I wish I could have got the legs a bit more in show because they kind of look squished down there. They're fine. <laughs> They're not squished, I swear. But they kind of look squished down there. Oh, dear. Hey, you know what, though? We're getting there. I still need to get my arms done. I'll get them done eventually. <laughs> I got them half done. I've got all of the structure in place. I just haven't made the wings. But hey, you know what? We get there. We'll get there when we get there. That is one thing I can't do anymore. I used to be able to like rush costumes out quickly at the end. Not anymore. We chill. We chill here. I don't... <laughs> There's no rushing. We'll get there when we get there. I've given myself plenty of time, so hopefully we should get there in time. But I honestly just don't feel like rushing it. <laughs> I want to enjoy it, like all the steps that we're doing and stuff like that, because it is a costume I like so much. I don't want to. I don't want to have to suddenly rush it. Even though I know it's for a competition, that's kind of what you do. Nah. <laughs> Chill, relax time. That's how I feel. <laughs> Chill, relax time. Okay, just make sure all of my sequins are lining up. They're getting there. Look at that. Wow! Because <laughs> this is on the tail, this will move a lot because it'll be swaying backwards and forwards and stuff. So I thought sequins was a good option because then it will catch the light a lot. I post like once every two weeks. It's post to my reels. A story is a post, a post to the post, a reel is a post. So you're probably fine. Thank you. <laughs> I post when I have stuff to post. So it might be that I don't post for two months and then I post 10 times in a row. Because with cosplay, some things go really quickly and did I just fling a sequin? Maybe. Uh, something, oh yeah, there it is. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Some things go really quickly and some things take forever. Sorry for the short visit. Oh no, you're fine. Oh heck yeah, have fun with your crochet. I hope it goes well. Honestly, that's still what I do in craft streams. I'm like, I pop in, say hi, immediately start crafting. <laughs> oh dear. We're not gonna get the whole way down here, but I'll get as far as I can. So this bit's a bit harder than around the outside uh, for various reasons, but mainly it's just because it's really difficult to line up without being able to like look at both sides at once, I suppose. But yeah, for every every time I go through the entire scale or fin to the other tiny, it's not a scale, it's a fin. Every time I go through the fin to the other side, I have to get it f through the sequin on the other side to continue the chain. And I don't know, man, this should be like expert, expert cosplay skills because it's a pain. <laughs> I guess with this one, I can kind of. I don't mind them flicking up, but it does tend to mean they fold underneath this, the scale before, which is, oh, sorry, the sequin before, which is not what I want. And I'm going to have to pull that one a bit tighter. There you go. Oh. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh dear. Oh my god, it's Black Apple! Welcome on in! I hope you're having a good day. Let's not think about one month. Let's not think about it. We just have a nice chill time. I hope you're having a good day. People are looking for other uh basically crafters on Twitch. Um Black Apple does cosplay, but they also do other crafts as well. So I don't want to label them as just a cosplayer. But they do a lot of a lot of crafts on Twitch if you're looking for others. Holy apple! <laughs> Oh my god, for two months, two weeks? Hey, now you need two months, two weeks, two days. Build up the twos. Every two. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, hello, Flay and chat. Starting to drag myself into cosplay again. What are you thinking to make next? 
because you've made quite a few things. Are you going to do a big one or a small one? Ah, oh, dear. Oh, I'm having... Sorry. <laughs> I know you can't see. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I also can't see. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. So I have actually put some little lines on this, which are pretty subtle, but I can see them, which I'm trying to follow so that I don't go all over the place. Big one! Yes! Big costume. I love making big costumes. <laughs> Heck yeah, I love watching people make big costumes as well because there is so much problem solving. But it's like, I don't know, it's very inspiring. Very exciting. Oh, come on, go through the hole. There it is. <laughs> That one's a little wobbly, which is annoying me, but I'll probably come back and fix it later. So on this one, I don't know if you can see, but I've gone around the whole outside. You can kind of see it. So the outsides, all the sequins are stitched together. So they kind of come to like a sharp point. Um, <laughs> so I'm making my tail a weapon, uh, <laughs> basically. It's going to swing backwards and forwards, and it's got this sharp edge, all covered in sequins. <laughs> oh dear. It's like to make sure people don't get in my perimeter. Like I don't like to be touched. And so I've made my tail a weapon so that if you get too close, I will smack you. <laughs> oh dear. Nice jelly, thanks. <laughs> Things so blingy, it is. It, it's right up my aesthetics. I'm like more, the only things it don't have, which I would like, would be diamante. No diamantes, no like studs, no sparkles like that. And it doesn't have any fabric painting. I think my ideal cosplay would have beads, sequins, diamante, uh, and then yeah, painting. Maybe a painting decorated with sequins, uh, beads, and diamante. Yeah, that would be my that would be my ideal. <laughs> oh, there you go. Sorry, <laughs> get through the hole. Oh, but on the right side. There you go. Ah oh dear, I wish humans had tails. It definitely makes things interesting, like, because animals with tails, they use their tails to, to like show the emotions they're having and stuff like that and warn people or be excited, stuff like that. It'd be interesting because people wouldn't necessarily be able to hide their emotions so much, right? If they had tails or they'd have to constantly keep it under control. Depends, I suppose. <laughs> Oh dear, I once wished to make a full viking costume. I'm ordering some armor from Sins by Sadie for the torso. I've got first uh, shirt for beneath the armor so the armor can keep the fur tight. I also have two fur braces. So I'm planning on making a two. Oh my god, that's gonna be so cool. Heck yeah, I, lo I love a good viking cosplay. Heck yeah. Technically you added all the beading. You could add diamantes, yeah. That's true. <laughs> There's some blank space left on this costume here and there. I could. I shouldn't be tempted though, because. Oh. I don't know if I want to spend any more on this costume. It's already. I know it's not actually that expensive, but it's already two hundred and twenty pounds. I don't know if I don't know if I want to spend more on anything that isn't just you know, restocking my thread as and when. Oh dear, Ned, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh dear. Beep, beep. There you go. Put that in there. I know the stock here is historically inaccurate. It's just easy to explain. Oh yeah, nah, you're good. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an assumption that this is not historically accurate. <laughs> oh dear. I thought it was for stability balance. Oh yeah, it is probably actually for stability and balance. But like, I don't know, human beings are already pretty balanced most of the time, right? So I think the main difference would be that no one can hide their emotions anymore. No hiding them. You have, you tell me when you're happy and you tell me when you're sad. Honestly, from my perspective, it sounds like a win. <laughs> but that is from someone who doesn't particularly hide their emotions. Fair, fair. <laughs> oh, dear. Also, for any... I'm going to take my code. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Two on. For anyone popping in for the first time who hasn't seen the costume, who hasn't seen the character, or is interested in entering a cosplay competition yourself, Nightbot did just drop the links in chat. I look balanced physically, mentally, and oh god. <laughs> Would a tail balance us all mentally? I mean, maybe that's what human humans lack. 
it's the <laughs> it's the uh what do you call it balancing ourselves mentally with a tail oh, chang, 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 chang. <laughs> Honestly, the boning is doing a wonderful job of making this like so bouncy. Oh, I love it. Like it's not stiff. It just like bounces up and down. It's good. It's good. I love that. Oh dear. Another good little bouncy fin. I'm gonna need more thread, huh? <laughs> you know, that's one thing I've really learned through this costume is I hate threading my needle again after running out of thread. I don't know why. I just, I despise it. <laughs> it is... Yeah, it's easily been my least favorite. Ow, least favorite part of the costume has been how often I've had to re-thread this needle. Now I'm using one specific color to do all of my sequining and beading. That's gold. It's this one. This is the color. It's I've not used it for sewing on my machine not once. It's only been used for beading and sequining. I get them in 500 meters, and I've used five of them, which means I've hand stitched two and a half thousand meters of beads. <laughs> <laughs> Probably take some off for like the end cuttings and stuff like that. But I am gonna say I've hand stitched two and a half thousand meters of beads <laughs> and sequins. Probably more like two thousand to be honest, but you know. <laughs> oh dear. Creates, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, I explained this costume character to my husband now. He's excited. Yes, 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 yes. I'm also very excited because it's all coming together. Like soon I'm gonna be able to wear my dangerous tail, smack people, uh, <laughs> hopefully not do any permanent damage to them. But you know, <laughs> the tail is pretty lightweight to be honest. It's just these bits might end up being a little sharper than I intended, but that's okay. You know what? Don't, don't come near me. <laughs> I, I'm a danger. <laughs> oh dear. Doing the work alike. Did I hear a bonk sound or did you produce that? I probably produced that. There's no bonk sounds here. Uh, I sound like a typical. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just me. I'm just making my own sound alerts. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it was me smacking the desk. It might have been. I might have gone bonk while smacking the desk as well. Sometimes I do the the sound of what I'm doing. I say it as I'm doing it. <laughs> that makes sense. Could have been that. Oh God, what are you, what are you doing to that sequin? All right, I'm gonna, I'll add one more and then I'm gonna tie you off. I've had enough. <laughs> okay. Right. I almost started doing another sequin, but I remembered. I remembered that I don't have enough thread. Okay. through there and tie that off and then we'll get more thread I think don't worry do your best there we go Ooh. yes like not let's not not right at the end we're getting there we're getting there honestly I did the other one off stream and it's so much nicer to do this on stream while, the, while I can like chat with people oh dear Tail like that could be useful with con- Yeah, exactly! <laughs> See, I've been doing this way before, way before pandemic times. Uh, make big costumes so no one can get close to you. Yeah, <laughs> I've been doing this for years. All the costumes I take conventions have like big hoop skirts or something like that, so it's like, good luck getting near me. I, <laughs> I, got, I got a big ring of protection here. Some would call it a ball gown, but I would call it a ring of protection. <laughs> Yeah, it's no offense to other con goers. I just don't really like human contact very much. So <laughs> it's easier for me. That way nobody thinks I'm being insulting. They're like, oh yeah, there's no way I could possibly go in for a hug. She's like 10 meters away. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like it has vanished. I remember, does anyone wish to be entertained by- <gasps> Wait, are those the little smiling beans? The little, the little cute smiling fairy beans? I'm contemplating to do a Lee cosplay, but I can't settle on who. Difficult because League has a lot of really, really good outfits. Uh, that's one thing. I don't play League, but damn, their character design. Oh, it's good. There's so many I'd like to do. I know. Oh, oh, that reminds me. 
Jesus, I found another cosplayer that's thinking to enter Amsterdam, and they are doing the lead character that I would next do. So I'm very excited to see it in person. Who are they? Let me find them really quickly. They are doing the seamstressing character, uh, like the puppety seamstress character. What's their name? Are they live right now? Wait. Yes, I think they're live right now. Is it? Is it you? Yeah, it is you. Um, so they're, they're making Gwen from, uh, from, what do you call it? Uh, Gwen from League of Legends, and it, they're doing day three on their stream. Uh, let me do them a little shout out so you can go see too. There you go. Everyone, that, that's, they, they're literally live right now. Uh, oh, and they're not at their computer, but they have got a gif of the character. You'll see the character for two seconds and you'll probably know why I want to do it. First of all, uh, I could probably do that without wearing a wig. <laughs> Get some extensions and I could probably do this character. Uh, second, they have a massive goddamn pair of scissors. It looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. That's, uh, that's another person that I'm now following. <laughs> Oh, how lucky that they're live. Dear, that's actually one of the best things I've ever <laughs> Ray, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Gwen, Gwen, yes, Gwen. Very beautiful costume. Uh, I am biased because they are, they literally, they have my hair color and they have a massive pair of scissors. And it's a very cute heckin', it's a cute heckin' character design. If I was gonna do a lead cosplay, that would have been the one. Uh, but that's just because it wouldn't have been too difficult. <laughs> the only thing that might have taken a little bit more pain would have been the pair of scissors. Because I don't have to wear a wig! <laughs> this is looking great and people are still not gonna come close to you. Yee! <laughs> oh dear. Isn't it cosplay is where people can't interact with you? The other thing is, that's not even that far out of reality because I often make it so that my cosplays I can't hear or I can't see. <laughs> so not only can you get nowhere near me, you also- I can't hear and see. <laughs> oh dear. I have a small request. When you win, would you be so kind to mention my name in your- so, I'm not gonna win TwitchCon. I literally, I'm not. I, I can't show you a few of the people that are entering because they've not gone public with it yet. But there are, there are de definite reasons why I am not going to win and I can't show you, but you'll just have to trust me. And also, like, I haven't even seen a lot of people's cosplays finished at this point. Like Diane and Hartigan, they're both making some heckin' good stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think regardless, whoever gets in is going to be a close competition. But that's the most fun, right? Where everyone, it could be anyone, right? And... I think, I think it is going to be a competition like that because everyone is bringing such different skills to the table. Even within the categories, everyone's bringing different, like, very different skills to the table. So I think it's going to be a very... I don't... You know what? I don't envy the judges because I think they're going to have a really rough time because everyone is a master of the skills they're bringing in, right? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a master of beading and sequining. I just like it a lot. But... The people that are doing like detailed embroideries, the people that are making layers and layers and layers for their like historically accurate ball gowns. Like these are difficult pieces. Also, I think I'm one behind on this side, so I'm just gonna quickly catch up because it's getting a little difficult to sew if I'm honest. That's all right, I, I catch up quickly. Uh, the Mafia's persuasive section, uh, bags to Quarkus, the little smiley beans, they have pouch similar to kangaroo ones, they also have fun raccoon like grabby hand, they don't mind tourists if you bring food. Uh, there's more stuff about them, but my favourite part is the cocker mama. If ever uh, chased by a predator, oh, the crocker baby will absolutely get yeeted to the predator and mum will run sacrifice. Let's yeet the babies. Jesus Christ. They're so smiley and happy, you wouldn't think, would you? Oh dear. Tiny little baby eaters. <laughs> Oh dear. Saying they're Australian. Oh, they, okay, they're Australian. I was gonna say, I thought it was from that side of the world, but I wasn't exactly sure whereabouts they were. Like, if they were in Asia or if they were Australian. Wasn't sure. What they are is very heckin' cute, though. Ah oh, dear. I have to binge Gotham right now? I have to binge Gotham right now? Oh my god. Well, Nev, it's been lovely seeing you, but you have a mission there. <laughs> 
clearly, and I do not want to distract you from your, your mission. While you're binging Goth Gotham, maybe you should also watch 1960s Batman. <laughs> you know, just, just so that you get the whole story from start to <laughs> Oh dear, thank you for the whole and techno. Oh dear. Soon, soon, okay, okay. <laughs> oh dear. Have I watched anything recently? I did watch something the other day, I'm sure. Oh, no, there are things I already watched. I was just trying to get Shiny to watch them. Oh dear. I've had Futurama on in the background a lot recently because uh, I'm having to do work downstairs and we don't have Twitch on the television. So I've been just, you know, binging Futurama. I'm not actually really watching it is the only thing. Like I have it on, but it's just to help me motivate me while I'm crafting. It's because I'm doing stuff with the PVC pipes. They're a bit big and they need to be heated. Oh dear. <gasps> You're gonna be meeting a person involved maybe? Oh, lovely. Oh yeah, you should probably, you should probably get on <laughs> and, wa and watch it maybe. I don't know. So that there's not any accidentally awkward interactions. Understandable, understandable. That would, that would bring in a necessity to watch something, huh? I was wondering what was happening that meant that you had to watch it. But no, that, that makes, that makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> oh dear. Put that up there. I think this is probably one of the most technical skills I've displayed so far. <laughs> You're barely gonna see it, but it's a pain in the ass. Oh, I like animals. I can give you a wider explanation of the green and wolves. This uh, mind is just years of nature documentaries when I'm ill at home. <gasps> I do the same thing! So growing up, whenever I was sick, my parents were like, listen, we don't really want you watching Spongebob because obviously you're having to miss school. But you're welcome to just sit in front of the television and watch documentaries. Or also Bob Ross. Also Bob Ross was in there. Because Bob Ross was a, a documentary on learning how to paint. But other than that, it was Bob Ross and like documentaries, right? And I really liked Time Team. And I really liked all of the like uh, Blue Planet and all that kind of stuff. And I, I did like Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross was great. But yeah, so I had like all of the things I used to watch as a kid when I wasn't very well. We used to watch like this animal vet hospital one, which in hindsight was actually quite graphic because they'd show like animals having full on operations. I didn't really think anything of it at the time, but as an adult, I'm like, wow, that was actually quite intense, huh? I mean, <laughs> obviously like, you know, uh, and, and that's the other thing, actually, you know, animals like full on would die. Like you'd, you'd have like really sad stories. Most of the time they'd be okay. But every now and again, like, it'd be like there was nothing we could do. This had gone too far. And like, unfortunately they were just too young or something like that. And you'd be like, Jesus Christ, that's intense. <laughs> Night on right, not becoming a relative. Oh my god, that's lovely. Maybe or maybe not. Congratulations, yeah. I'm now filling my sims with supernatural beings doing a fairy. Heck yeah. Mushroom, mushroom, that's where it's at. Going back to documentaries, uh, there's a documentary on Netflix about mushrooms uh, where they continuously call mushrooms fungi. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's also a beautiful scene in that doc uh, documentary of the dinosaurs deflating. <laughs> they're like, they're like the dinosaurs died, and all the dinosaurs go like, <laughs> and they deflate. <laughs> it's like I don't think that's how they died, but like you know, that's fine. You, it's open to interpretation, right? <laughs> and the, like half of it is about mushrooms and like historically mushrooms, and the other half about it is just getting high off mushrooms. It's a it's a very funny documentary. If you're looking to not learn very much, listen to f fungi constantly instead of fungi. Oh my god, or fungus. No fungus. No fungi. Fungi. <laughs> or fungi. I can't remember if it was fungi or fungi. Whichever one it was. 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, happy little accidents. Yee. Uh, Gwen girl is French. Finally get to know where the bibliothèque is. Oh, heck yeah. Is she French? Oh my god, they've got so- Oh my god, I can see you guys over there. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, did you say you were a spy from me? Grab it! <laughs> we're not spying. We're sending love to other cosplayers. I swear. Listen, if, if I- 
I swear, you guys, if I if I talk about another cosplayer, it's not because I'm spying on them. I just love to see cosplayers on this platform. Rob it. Rob it. Front and center. Honestly. Terrible. Terrible. I love mushrooms. Blizzgen is a cute version of the German word for mushrooms. Oh, wait, that is cute. Actually, I think... I could be wrong, but I thought part of the documentary took part in Germany, where they were doing, like, mushroom scavenging hunts or something like that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Anyway, regardless, or maybe they just talked about Germany. I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of it was in America. But uh, it was very fun. It was a very fun documentary. Not me watching documentaries when an animal dies, but the good soup... Uh, soup is cooking. F in chat with the boys. All my soup is done. I've learned so much from those English reading tests and silverfish, dog loves in America, all that stuff. Jelly looking more jelly spy to me. I'm not a jelly spy. I specified that I wasn't a spy. Yeah, but like, you, no, you, yes, but no, actually, you definitely come in looking like a spy. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go in and apologize and be like, we're not spying. We're not spying. We just, we just love cosplay, okay? We just love cosplay. Oh dear. Was I lying? No! But <laughs> you made it look like you were. I swear. Rob it. Rob it. Also, calling me out. Uh, listen, I don't watch other cosplayers while I'm also live on Twitch. What are you talking about? I would never. I definitely don't have three tabs open of people that I'm watching right now while I'm also live. <laughs> I mean, I'm not watching watching them, but I have them in the background. Unfortunately, I don't think it counts as a lurk unless I move the thing. But it means I can I can say hi whenever I'm free. Because Diane cosplay is also live right now. Diane uh, and Dem. Dem is live. The mod Dem. Gotta keep Dem's one open in case anything spicy happens. <laughs> Lots of mushrooms are forest, I think. It's iconic how I adore mushrooms and streams the mushroom too, but I hate to eat them. I also don't like eating mushrooms, but I love them for art because they grow in so many interesting and unique ways. In the same way that I really like jellyfish, I think, I really like mushrooms because you can kind of see how they've adapted to their environment, but it makes them look completely... All the species look so completely different, and I like that a lot. I'm a big fan of that. Jellyfish and mushrooms. Also, they have similar shape. <laughs> Please, Jim, sounds like a German word for drugs to me. That's because I'm Dutch and we have pillen, pillen of pills in Dutch. And pills, I think of drugs. Please, Jim, looks like pills. <laughs> oh, dear. Lonely rolling star. Bam, 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 bam. There you go. I agree, jellyfish and mushrooms. Heck yeah. I've always thought like I might get a mushroom tattoo, like kind of like a creepy one, but one like that. Most of the tattoos I get are just because I like the things. I, I don't know <laughs> what to call it. I guess technically at this point, maybe I do have an emotional attachment to jellyfish, but I just like how things look and I'm like, put on body, put put on body, more, another one on for the body. <laughs> oh dear. And then you get the questions, especially coming into summer. It'll happen more now. Oh, why'd you get that one? I don't know. <laughs> Especially my wallet. My wallet definitely doesn't know where I get them. <laughs> Just like it, don't I? <laughs> oh dear. Don't be sad, go get a tattoo. Listen, I like paying good artists for good work and tattoos are expensive, dude. Like the one on YouTube, please. I'm still here. I have not left just yet. We just started stream. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Where, where is it? There it is, Demacy. Oh dear. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Tattoos are really expensive. Uh, otherwise, I'd probably get them more often. But also, like, I, and the, that's the other thing, is there are some tattoo artists I really like. Of course, the, one that I've already, the ones I've already got, I do like them. But one of those artists has moved now, so if I wanted to get a tattoo from them again, I'd have to travel. Which I wouldn't be unwilling to do. Again, it's just like... The tattoos already cost quite a lot of money, so probably not. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd get them more often. Oh, also, if you if you uh, tattoo, you can't donate blood for, I can't remember if it's six or eight months. But that is the other thing putting me off it right now. It's because I want to donate blood, so I can't get a tattoo. Because <laughs> that, would, that would ruin my chances pretty quickly. 
Oh dear, I was sad that TikTok said I shouldn't be. T TikTok said you shouldn't be sad? Oh, did it, did it work? Did that just work? If you go on TikTok and someone tells you not to be sad, are you instantly happy? Because like, that sounds like revolutionary if that's the case. <laughs> that team was 180, I think. It's my right like uh, side practicing the muscle. I think that's 10 centimeters. This one was under 100 quid, but it's really simple and it's all just like line work. <laughs> this one, was it 400 maybe? Something like that. It's been a while, so I don't remember. I remember it was several hundred quid, but it does cover my basically entire back. So it, it's huge. And it's predominantly big, thick lines and a lot of dot work. So it took a really long time and it was definitely worth the money. But that's kind of like you have to save for that kind of tattoo. <laughs> oh dear, Jelly had money. She'd have jellyfish on her face by now. Yeah, I'd have like little jellyfish tears coming down. <laughs> Dear. You guys, you guys think that would be nice? Your little, little jellyfish tears would look good. The tears of all the jellyfish. <laughs> right, let's get one more in this line and then I'll take it towards the edge and start doing that. I probably have to tie it off is the only thing, but I can live with that. I can live with the knowledge that I've done that. There's a TikTok sound. Don't be sad. Go get a tattoo. Oh, is there? I'm so sorry. I am a grandma. And while I do technically own TikTok so that I can take my name, I don't use TikTok. I have no idea what's going on over there. Um, yep, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm bored. I've been thinking of an avatar tattoo, but I'm 16. And I still want jobs. Uh, I'd say the own, yeah, most tattoos where I live, at least, uh, people I work with have face tattoos and stuff like that. But it definitely makes an impression before you talk to somebody, I suppose. Uh, also, if you get tattoos in visible parts of your body, people will ask you about them 24-7. So, like, get ready to talk about the reason, or in my case, lack of reason, that you got tattoos. <laughs> um, when anyone... I've had people, and I said this before, at work, I've had women grab the back of my top to, like, pull it down so they can see more of the tattoo without telling me they were going to do that, without asking me to do that. And they like pull it down, they'd be like, oh, what's this then? Oh, that's a big one. Why'd you get that? And I'd be like, oh, fuck. first of all, you've like strangled me because you pulled the back of my top. I didn't tell you you could touch me. And I have no reason to give. I like jellyfish. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're feathered. How are you doing? Yeah, how are you doing? Are you okay? Oh dear, I'm so sorry I sent you such- I was like midnight, I think. <laughs> I was like, let me just send a rambling message to Feathered. They don't deserve this. I was just nervous that you hadn't seen. I was like, what do they think? What do they think is still going? And they get caught out by it. Uh, I'll send them a rambling messages. <laughs> uh, which of the TwitchCon days is a cosplay contest? I don't know. I have no idea. I think if I get in, they'll tell me. But <laughs> right now, I have no clue. Oh dear, yikes. Dutch tattoo laws, you can have a tattoo from the age of 12 with parents' consent, 16 plus, it's all got no need for that. I think, is it 16 here? I got my first tattoo when I was like 19, 20, so I'm not sure. Oh dear. Did you see? Yeah, they, they've they seen. Oh dear. I have a simple wolf tattoo and I respond, I like dogs and wolves. Yeah, I normally respond with, can you stop strangling me? <laughs> But that's just because of the position. I get asked about the one on my arm, and honestly, this has had a lovely reception with our older customers. Our older customers love my arm tattoo. They're like, oh, is that classical music? And I'm like, yeah, I'm a classical musician. They're like, oh. <laughs> I probably had a, a, a real best response with that one. Because we, in Barra Facing, we do fit a lot of people of different ages. All, the, all of the old, old biddies who see my arm tattoo are like, oh, what piece is that? Can I listen to it? Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh dear yeah it's freaking sucky it's very sucky like i'm sure there's a reason they're doing that but for everybody who's been creating for it and i know a few probably got very rambling messages from me um yeah it's a, a really rubbishy situation i'm gonna send you a message too when i saw it don't worry black apple i was on it i sent i sent them like <laughs> i sent them a midnight ramblings about it so we we got it do not worry Oh dear. I think we're something of the most. They didn't even announce it in the Discord server. Wait, they didn't announce it in the. Oh. 
Oh, yikes. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, oh, oh, horn. Are you a woman with a sea serpent tail? That sounds sick, Neb. And a dagger of Shakespeare quote. Very nice. Very nice. Your grandma impression is like perfection. Thank you. <laughs> I was born a grandma. Oh, I only saw it as someone's story. Yeah, I saw it as the post on Instagram. And I was like, I haven't seen anything else about this. So I quickly had a little look and I saw they posted it on Twitter. But like, I, I didn't see anything else other than those two individual posts. Uh, and the one on Twitter didn't get like much of a reaction. So probably most people didn't see that one. They probably saw the Instagram one. Ugh. I think it was testing. Yeah, that would make sense because testing was also crafting for it. Yeah, I, I will. I know it's quite a quick turnaround for most people, I think, who are crafting for, for online cosplay contests. For those who are not aware, by the way, of what's happening, what we're talking about, uh, the Ultimate Online Cosplay Contest has been a massive cosplay competition, like worldwide cosplay competition over the last couple years. Uh, especially with everything being locked down, it's got a lot of traction and a lot of people now are aiming to enter it because it's a really big one. They get some fantastic crafters in it. They get amazing judges, like it's a really well-run event. Um, but this year they just posted that they weren't doing it. So a lot of people have been, similar to what I'm doing now, gearing up to enter a specific cosplay competition and then now have suddenly been told it's not happening. Uh, which of course, at the end of the day, this sort of thing does happen, but it is gutting for everyone who was basically getting ready to enter it. So that's what's happening right now. Riches, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much for the follow. Ah oh dear, is that a tree? Oh my God. Oh my God, that's sick. I love that. Was that your idea or is that the tattooed artists? They didn't post it anywhere. I kind of thought they put a lot into holiday Matsuri. Yeah, so maybe they decided to put more into that. Well, it sounds like they've got more things planned, but I'm wondering if that's what actually people want. Because most people that are aware of the online cosplay contest are experienced cosplayers who maybe don't need as many tutorials and simple stuff. And we just want competitions to enter, right? So I'm wondering if they might have misjudged their audience a little bit. Um, because yeah, most of the people that I know that are aware of online cosplay contests are already established cosplayers. People that enjoy Did cosplay it. already, you know? Hey, Blaffle. Oh, we got friends. Heck yeah. It does happen, but it's how you handle letting everyone know. Yes. Um, they definitely didn't make it a very obvious thing. And again, I really don't think... I, I mean this in the nicest possible way. From a creator to another group of creators. I don't think they're considering the audience they currently have. Was drawn by... An acquaintance randomly without them knowing it was my favorite mythological creature. So you took them. Oh, that's really cool. That's really hecking cool. That's kind of what I did with the arm one. Obviously, it's printed music, but it, it, if you look at it closely, it's got a lot of. Oh, what would you call it? Purposeful missing bits. Uh, because it is photocopied directly from my teacher's book. So the book that my teacher lent me, uh, where I learned it from. So there are bits of like it that have just worn away over time. And I literally got a tattoo that looked like it was already wearing away, but it's because I like that print of it. That's the print I've always seen of it. So I don't think you'll be able to see it, but like there are bits like here where there isn't really, there's a very thin line, but the line's thinned out. And then bits where the line's much thicker. And yeah, it's very hecking cool. I like it a lot. But is it through the fire and flames? Unfortunately not. If you want to listen to the song, it is exclamation mark tattoo will take you to a video of the composer playing the song. Probably the most accurate version of the song. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, Ned. I hope you can enter something else. Me too. I hope you can enter something else. I know, again, I know TwitchCon is quite soon. So I think for a lot of people, that's going to be just too soon. I would, well, I'd be so happy to see you enter it, but I am very biased. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. I also don't want to, like, push anyone to the point of, like, sickness crafting. Oh, dear Purple. Oh, hi, Purple. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Only change the baby was to cover her boobies with her hair. Yeah, that's understandable. And that's one of the few things I think my workplace and a few previous workplaces have said. If you have uh, explicit tattoos, you have to have them covered. So by doing that yourself, I think, smart move. As much as explicit tattoos are very fun, I think a few places will say you can't have those out, which means you might be very hot in the summer. 
posted on Facebook, was it? Oh, okay. So they posted it on all their social medias, but they didn't post it in the Discord. It still kind of rubs me the wrong way considering who their audience is. Like, the people that are entering it are going to be in the Discord. I don't know. Uh, again, it kind of felt more like a announcement for people that weren't going to enter, so they, I don't know. So they keep up appearances on social media, but not not an announcement for the people that would have actually made the content for them. Maybe that's a harsh opinion. <laughs> but that's kind of how it looks like. Oh dear. Both are destroyed by laces. True. <laughs> I guess you still have a nice shiny new cosplay regardless. That's true. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still going to be lovely to see what Feather creates. Uh, regardless of what they create it for. Oh dear. So Melpod posted it in the Discord, yeah. I'm not much on socials now, too busy crafting Discord I keep up with. That's absolutely fair. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm probably a bit harsh and it's not necessarily what they were thinking and I maybe didn't mean any of it, but by not posting in the community of people that will create content for them and only posting on socials, it does look like a saving face rather than actually letting people know. That that's, that's how it appears. Whether that's how they intended it or not, I can't say. I am not part of the team that runs Ultimate Cosplay Online. But like... That's how it looks. <laughs> oh dear. Did he post above? Uh, I didn't see it in, uh, until Darth let me know someone had posted in the Discord server. Not much. Oh no, I didn't see it, but now I have. Thank you. <laughs> and Bonnie, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh dear. I'm a bit sad as well since I had. Oh, you'd also plan to enter Mephisto. <laughs> another, another. Well, would you. <laughs> Purple, you're a America based, right? I wonder if, again though, you'd have to stream it and I know you're not really for showing, doing streaming. That might not be for you. That's difficult. I hope everyone who does was planning to enter manages to find something else because it would be a massive shame to let all these cosplays go to waste. Ah, oh, dear. I'm in Canada. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm not sure what the TwitchCon rules are for Canada, to be truthful. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, not that one. Post so I can memes and uh, thumbs up for you. Find the perfect sound for when the Invoid Machine goes rogue. Did you? All right, two seconds. Let me attach this sequin and then I'll have a look. Sorry, sorry. No, it is not so bad. The man, it is not so bad. But that... Son of a bitch, that's bad! <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when my embroideries are not lining up, and I could just see it printing but not being lined up, and that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> oh, dear. Doing great, thanks. I had a great time. Oh, bless you. Go with costumes? Yeah! Heckin, heckin. Cosplay, cosplay. Tournament. Yes, yes, yes. Honestly, that's all I ever really want. I just want cosplay tournaments. Tournaments for costumes. <laughs> even if it's not meant to be a tournament. Even if it's not meant to be that competitive. Tor cosplay tournament arc. Yeah. <laughs> I'd really love one day. Uh, you know, you know how... Uh, Coming up to League of Legends uh, events, like the, the the competitions, they'll like release music videos with animations of the people that uh, are going to be in the finals, stuff like that, or the semi-finals. Basically the teams that get through, you kind of see all of the captains often in those kind of animations. I'd love to see something like that for a cosplay competition. Because it's kind of the same thing, we all have, you'll have like, I think Euro cosplay would have been a really good one for it, although it's now Euro cosplay mixed with uh what do you call it crowns because you could have like the representative from each country have like a really intense song have clips of them making it and put it together i think that'd be really fun i, I think that'd be really fun probably one of the only people that would it'd be a lot of hard work but i'd still like it <laughs> oh dear good morning oh nakataka welcome on in i hope you're having a good day the cosplays i was considering were kindred ice king uh, Twitch or perhaps Jin. Oh. 
I'd have to look those up. I'd have to look those up. Oh, wait, no, Kindred I know. Kindred I've looked at before as well. That is like the one with the spirit that goes along with them. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I remember now. Sorry, I'm just splitting up sequins because like I said, all my sequins come in tubes and there's like five sequins for every sequin. I have to split them up before I start sewing with them. This is the only pain because I'm grateful that I've got a tube where I have so many more sequins than usual, but uh, it is a pain in the ass to split them all up. Because they like come like, can I show you? Like that. So there's like eight sequins there or something. And so then you have to take it and split it up because they won't come apart otherwise. <laughs> they need to be manually split. I did a bit of this before stream today because I was like, I'll get some prepared because I get through them very quickly doing this. Let's see how many did it. Was it actually eight? I'm going to assume it was. So, seven. Is this last one? Yeah, it was eight. And then we just move them all in there. And are these individuals? That's a two. Like, I have split up a lot of them just by shaking the tube, but uh, some of them just won't. Some of them just won't. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, the lamb and the wolf. Yeah, I've looked at that one before and been like, damn, that'd be a cool costume. But, you know, I just couldn't fit it in. It's probably in my Once a Cosplay list somewhere, but like I just couldn't fit it in. Uh, they hate that, yeah. <laughs> I was like trying to get them all apart. It's fine, but it just takes a minute. So you have to like spend some time separating your sequins. I've not had this with any other tube, I should say. It is just this one. Ah, oh, dear. Thank you, purple. I appreciate it. Doing embroidery on that is really pretty. Oh, thank you. The book. I appreciate it. I I love adding like a uh, unnecessary detail. Yeah, <laughs> but like unnecessary detail. It's like my middle name. Jelly unnecessary detail Wobblington. <laughs> oh dear. Does anyone else know of any other online comps? Only because I get horrible stage fright, so I'm more. Honestly, the closest I can think of is TwitchCon, only because you do all of your stuff beforehand online. But, of course, if you get through the first stage, then you have to go on stage. So I, it's not, it's not a fully online competition, it's only the first round of judging that is. Um, oh, there's two there. <laughs> I'm not sure. Unnecessary detail, the thing that makes, thank you. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Oh dear. Weep, weep, weep. Continue making our way around this, and then we have to go sew around the whole outside of it to make those nice sharp edges. Feels cooled out. No, I like I like unnecessary details. Listen, me too, me too, purple. We can both just love unnecessary detail together. Overcomplicated designs, unnecessary detail. Heck yeah! Thank you for the egg. Ah, oh, the same as a costume designer. Heck yeah! Like, can I add anything to this? But Jelly, Jelly, it doesn't need any more. You've already put thousands of sequins and beads on it. But but can I add anything else? Can I just keep adding? I have got the dress hanging on the wall and I so badly want to start beading into the purple parts. It's not necessary, but I really want to. I'm now debating if I should enter my local con with Mephisto or wait. I mean, I see no reason not to if you're already going to the convention. As long as you like that con and you'd feel happy to cosplay on the stage there. Why not? The thing is as well, it depends on the online cosplay comp rules and whether they change or not. But with a lot of uh, cosplay competitions, as long as you haven't won previously with that cosplay, you can enter into multiple competitions. TwitchCon cosplay is one of the exceptions to that rule where you can only have entered it into TwitchCon. Uh, but a lot of cosplay competitions will let you enter into multiple things. As long as you're not the winner. So if you entered the local one and didn't win, you should still be open to entering into other things, I think. It depends what the local rules are and what the rules of the other cosplay competitions you're interested in are. COVID brought them all out, now they're going away. No! But but the details are the fun bit. I yeah, I love putting Easter eggs in my costumes. Same. Same. I love that too. That's one of my favourite bits. More complicated, more fun. Yeah. I also have a uh, marine which I have not worn locally. Sorry, Feathered, how far are you off from finishing, do you think? That's a good question, actually. 
I know you have a lot of embroideries, which, yeah, does make it a little bit more complicated, huh? But I am curious. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, it's Marianne, not Marine. What am I saying? Excuse me, I can speak. <laughs> uh, I was expecting the deadline to be end of May, uh, so I was going into crunch mode now. Deadline for, for TwitchCon is the 20th of May. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> oh, dear. Feathered, are you going to MCM London or nah? I can't remember. I know I know you probably won't make the uh, the crowns there, but will you be going just for fun? Yeah, I'd say I was almost halfway. I want to, yes, I'm going. I'm not entering any competitions there, but we just finished booking the last bit. So we've got our hotel travel tickets. The tickets are here. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love I love MCM London. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep going. And we're nearly the whole way around. Do you see how slow this is though? Like I've been going pretty consistently and I was already half done and we're only now just getting around to going around the edge of it. It's <laughs> slow. It's slow. I know the feeling on that med. I had a fair bit finished for Miss Fisto. Yeah, you've been you've been doing a lot of the embroideries for it as well, uh, part of which are the bits that take a really long time. You were you were getting pretty far along in it, at least from what it looks like from an outsider's perspective. Uh, yeah. All right, two of them are still stuck together. <laughs> go well I had the shirt towel cook the cakes and finish the gloves and, and you had your little shorts didn't you I thought that was for the missus though oh dear interfacing attached yeah it's quite a lot Except that last one that failed on the last piece of embroidery. Gah! <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Oh, dear. The amount of times I've been like, oh, yeah, that's lined up perfectly. And then it starts actually embroidering. And I'm like, no, no. How am I going to fix that? I don't know if I can fix that in post. Oh, dear. Go. Yeah, we're getting there. I also need to do the little, because on this one, it's got little beads. Do you see like the little purple beads? to highlight the edge there. I need to do that too. <laughs> that I still need to do as well. So I wanted to get the sequence done first because the sequins are more annoying and take more time. There we go. Uh, one of the animals fought of the direction of the fan and now I'm sad. <laughs> oh, amazing. Good stuff. Oh dear, shorts and leggings done as is the top hat umbrella and lapel, yeah. And the book covers! Yeah, nice. You are you are pretty close to finish then. Oh dear. There we go. Uh, I still have to do the big one. I kind of put that one off just so I could test how this looked on the smaller ones first. But, uh, I still have to do the big one. <laughs> These are like less than half the size of the big one. Oh dear. That's alright, we'll get there, we'll get there when we get there. I really feel like rushing. I know, I know we're getting pretty close to deadline date, but I'm just not a rushing person. <laughs> I, I can't, I don't know. I can't get it in me to like, oh, deadline's coming up, we should hurry up. I'm like, no. The thing is, if I wanted to hurry up, at this point I would stop streaming. I would just work in it off stream because every crafter knows you do things twice as slow when you're streaming it. <laughs> off stream, for some reason it just goes much quicker than it does on stream, right? 
but I don't know, I kind of want to keep enjoying making it. And a big part of that is, you know, chatting with people, getting my talk on. My ascot is also done. Oh my god. Jesus, yeah, that is. You were basically done, huh? Uh, I mean, if you're almost done and there is a local con coming up, check what the rules of online cosplay have been previously. See if they allow things that have been entered into other costumes uh, competition. See if you, they allow that, as long as they haven't been the winner. And if they do, then you don't really stand to lose anything by entering other local cons. Because when, if and when uh, Ultimate Online comes back, you should still be able to enter it as long as you haven't won. And if you've won at the local one, then I feel like your cosplay has already done well. I started on picking it and realised it's a tiny satin stitch A. B, it's on a chiffon fabric, so take around five hours to unpick it. The fabric is almost guaranteed to get damaged. The fabric is five pound a meter. I bought new fabric. Yeah. I did that too. Like, if something went wrong when it was embroidering into the lame, I was like, well, that lame's dead now. It's gone. Uh, nope. <laughs> There's no bringing that back. Ah, oh, dear. Here you go. Come on. There you go. Oh dear. I've run out of sequins again. <laughs> That's okay. I just need a few more. And then I'll get some new thread and I'll try and go the whole way around the outside quickly. I don't even know. I probably need like seven more I'll, I'll try and get seven out and guess if that's the amount that we need oh that's not gonna be possible actually is it because they're all they're all stuck together oh god damn it okay it's three. Oh, those two are individuals that's <laughs> that is a tower sequence god damn it uh, if i put take put that back in there and open this one up it might have eight but yeah, that's all right. It's better. It's better. They look like, I don't know, because of the light, the way the light shines on them, in my mind, the sequins on the desk don't look real. <laughs> they look like fake sequins. Uh, for MCM London, what would be the best day to go? Uh, ooh, I would say if you're looking to get group cosplay shots, have a little look at the, if you go on MCM and then you go fan meets, it will say the fan meets that are currently happening so you can try and make sure you go on the same day as a fan meet. Outside of that, Saturday. Saturday is the busiest day. And, uh, and you'll see the most cosplayers, they normally have the most meetups. Um, if you want a quieter day, Friday is the quietest. But if you're looking for like busy day, lots of cosplayers, Saturday is the busy day. But I would also have a little look at the photo shoot schedule because, again, if you want to get group photos with people from the same franchise as you, uh, sometimes people will organise them and they'll be on different days. Like, I normally keep an eye out for the Square Enix photo shoot if it's happening because then I can go in my Final Fantasy cosplay, whichever one I've made at the time, and get pictures with other people from Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, dear. They won't, the cat won't let me work, please cat. <laughs> no, you have to pet cat. It's important. That reminds me of working in the costume shop for Shakespeare in the Park, where I live, and I love it. Heck yeah! Shakespeare in the Park? That sounds fun. That sounds really fun. Oh dear, give in to cat, snuggle the cat, can work, can wait, exactly. Always cat, always cat. In other news, I'm currently putting a rainbow mask to give to a co-worker who's gonna be moving soon. Heck yeah! Oh, that'd be lovely! I've seen the masks you make, they're fantastic. Oh dear. What a heckin' nice gift. And again, anything made is often a nice gift, but those are really nice. I could want one on the back or two on the back. Probably two on the back. This goes a little further than the front does. Okay. Last front one. I think I did need seven. Yeah, I only need one more sequin. That's all right. I'll put that one last sequin away. Oh. And oh. Go. And then get that sewn in. Oh. Make 
sure it's the right way around. And then I need to tie this off. So I'm just going to get that in. Oh, actually, did I sew through the other side? I didn't. That's okay. Get, this get it sewed on this side. Other way, it's going to shift around a lot, and that's not what we want. There you go. Okay. Let's tie that off, and then I'll show you the sequence. But we still have to go around the outside, uh, just to make sure the sequence come together. It will also ever so slightly protect the edge of the lame, which is the real reason I've done this. But um, from an outside perspective, it looked pretty shiny sequin. <laughs> But uh, yeah, protecting the lame is quite important because the lame is so delicate. And if I want to wear this multiple times, that lame needs to be protected. Whether it be by glue or sequins or whatever. Whip, 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 whip. <laughs> Fantasy fish. Oh dear, Saturday it is then. I don't really have a cosplay I can wear. I've only ever made myself one and I wore it once and it drove me nuts. It does. It, every time I wear a cosplay, it drives me nuts. Uh, I did that one summer when I was still in college. It was a blast. They love gay shit in their words. Nice. <laughs> Uh, just could get inspired. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's what I'm gonna do. May do a bit of steampunk feel, because I have that in my closet. There's often a- I don't know- have you been to London MCM before, Feathered? There's normally a really big stand of steampunk clothing, steampunk items, uh, like general steampunk furniture in the convention. One of the biggest stands there normally uh, is a place that just does everything steampunk. It's like a little steampunk pop-up shop. Uh, very cool. Uh, they've been there every single time that I've been. I hope they're still there. They had a steampunk Dalek at one point, which was very cool. Oh yeah, now I need to go around the outside, but we're nearly there. Got our two little fantasy fishy fins. <laughs> uh, yes, I love the steampunk stuff. My wallet starts streaming and screaming as soon as I go near. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really good shop though. Uh, I feel that, yeah. It's a it's a lovely shop and like they display everything so nicely as well. It's it's almost unfair because like of course you're gonna want to buy everything when it looks like that. <laughs> oh dear, it's very cool. It's very cool. I am very much looking forward to going again. We mainly buy art in this household. Sometimes playing cards, a lot of art. I do really hope the bowl, the bowl uh, stand is back. The place that did like traditional tea sets and uh, bowls, lots of bowls, because that's where we've got some of our bigger bowls from and I'd really like to get a few more. It's really nice. I also want to get a proper business card this time because my God, I've recommended them to so many people but I have no idea who they are. I'm just like, it's the, it's the bowl store, MCM. <laughs> they do bowls. Uh, I've started to put money aside for local con already, con in October! Heck yeah! Ah oh dear, I'm gearing up for my local Ren Fair. They're going somewhere in the next few weeks. Ooh, lovely. Very hecking nice. Ah oh dear. I at some point need to make a Renaissance theme outfit. Uh, because I'm going to a Renaissance themed wedding. Renaissance and uh, like medieval style. So I need to make a little outfit for that at some point, for both myself and Shiny. I don't know when I'll get round to that. <laughs> I don't think it should take too long, <laughs> because I've already got like patterns and stuff like that. But I, I do need to remember that that is something I need to do. I need a, a little a little Renaissance style get up for axe throwing and wedding stuff, you know? I'm actually really looking forward to it, it's going to be lovely. Ah oh dear. Those sets are stunning, I left it too late, and the one I wanted was gone! So we've got all different bowls. Uh, I would maybe like to get the tea set as a gift for somebody at some point, but like, what we've been getting is just the bowls, and every time we go, we get two more bowls. But then one of them got smashed, so this year we might need to get three bowls. Um, <laughs> and yeah, every year we just get like, another couple bowls, and we add them to our bowl collection. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been like a really fun little thing. Now I'm just going through the sequins, pulling them together with a stitch around the edge. I don't have to bother with any of the inside ones, they're fine, but these ones need a little bit of attention. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh 
Oh dear. My Renfest character is a Tinker Fairy. Oh my god. Yes. I think I haven't seen them in their wedding dress yet. But I think the person getting married is going to look like a fairy. Like just by the design of the dress and everything like that. They're either gonna look like an elf or a fairy, I'm not sure. It's it's stunning. It's very pretty. It's being custom made. Oh. It's gonna be lovely. I look forward to seeing them. They, they're going to be doing axe throwing or something. I look forward to seeing that, but no, it's going to be really, really nice. But I've got until... Well, I've got a few months for that. I've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Purchasing MCM tickets now! Yes! So, uh, I don't... Do you play Genshin at all, Feathered? Because you're about to get... If you, if you get, like, the physical tickets that are sent to you, you're gonna get uh, potentially a different Genshin character to me because we got the weekend tickets. Uh, so we got, is this Zhongli? I believe that's their name. But there are different Genshin characters depending on which ticket you get. And you get like a Genshin character on your ticket. It's very funny. I like it a lot. Oh dear. Man, this holo glitter and podge is something else. Oh, holographic stuff. That's another thing that I've not really been able to put much into this costume so far. Uh, I am going to be putting some little holographic sequins onto the cape. But I'm just going to be putting them randomly so they have like a general aura of glow. That's, that's, the, only, that's the only holographic I can do, really. Can't do any more. <laughs> oh, it's too late to get... Oh, no! Dang it, so you have to get, like, pick them up or get digital ones or something? <laughs> Thank you for the horns, eh? Oh dear. Damn it. Now we can't compare Genshin characters. <laughs> Not that that would have been that important anyway, but yeah. There we go. Oh, that'd be cool. I hope I see you there. Because I'm not entering any competitions, I'm kind of free to do whatever I want for the weekend. So hopefully, hopefully I run into you. Although, if I'm cosplaying, I'll probably spend half my time outside cooling off. <laughs> as what happens every time. Because the convention hall is just so warm. Oh. I look forward to sitting outside for half of the convention. Although I'll only probably be cosplaying one day. I, I like, because it's such a big costume, I can't imagine doing it both Saturday and Sunday. I think that would be a little bit much for me. I get some good good Saturday pictures. Ooh. We're getting there. You see it? You see it? It's kind of difficult to show. There it is. <laughs> oh, pick them up. Oh, I definitely have to meet up. Maybe for lunch? Heck yeah. You wanna you wanna watch me try and eat in this cosplay? Heck yeah. <laughs> Wanna watch me try and consume a hot dog while the majority of my body is covered, including my face? Heck yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'm making some little fairy stones for my garden. I painted some small rocks, uh, like five, six inches in diameter, bright colors, and then decorated them with stickers and sparkles. Oh my god. And I mod pop. Oh. That sounds so lovely. That sounds like that sounds like such a relaxing craft, honestly. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Oh, is there a knot here? Something's not right. I'm not sure what it is, but something here is very thick. That's okay, we got over it. Ah oh dear. Wonderful that you bring my big camera. I could do with the practice. Ooh, if you are bringing your big car. Uh, camera i don't remember if uh they'll ask you to sign sign in as a photographer if you go inside i'm not sure i don't exactly remember the rules uh i can put the link in chat though so you can have a look for it um there was like something for photographers i don't know if it's you register as a photographer or something but i'm sure there was something but i cannot remember what it is um i was in things to was it in things to do was a plan your weekend? Uh, mm. uh, oh 
no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, as long as you don't have like freestanding stuff, it's all good, I think. Um, oh, and don't sell your photography uh, without paying. That's what it is. It's the uh, you have to sign up to be a photographer if you are selling them. Ah, you're good. Uh, it's to me, yes, Ned. Uh, and then I'm gonna finish my ah, oh, Scrabblecraft. Heck yes, yeah, Scarborough being the local. I see. Very heckin' nice. Very heckin' nice. I leave now, baby. You're all good. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for popping by. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting stuck. Uh, I found a drawer of a little two to three inch blown glass perfume bottles in different colors, which filled with sparkles and flower petals. Oh my god, that's so cute! You're gonna seal them with uh, sealing wax. Oh heck yeah! That's so cute. It just sounds like very chill, a very chill craft. I appreciate a good chill craft. I know. I just bring the camera in a couple of flashes. People can be drafted. <laughs> Voice activated light stands. Yeah. Oh dear. I still have to make business cards, so at some point I'm going to have to. <laughs> gonna have to send off for those. Because obviously, like, I know you, but you know, like, you get pictures taken by photographers you don't necessarily know just so that they can tag you. I'd honestly recommend that to any cosplayer. Make little business cards. That way, if a photographer takes photos of you, they can find you afterwards and tag you. And then you get. Nice photos. Very nice photos. At a convention. Of course not everyone does that. There are some, uh... Some photographers that are there, like, doing paid jobs. So not everyone will. But some of them will. Paid jobs? Is that the right way of putting it? Like, they've been paid by certain cosplayers to photograph them. Yeah. Okay. And now we have to go back through that one. And through. <laughs> ah. There you go. That. Go over the top. And then, how are we going to do this? I think. Like this. Mm. Yeah, that's a little difficult. It'd be easier coming from the other side, but I think it's manageable. So I just, I want the stitches to turn over at the top, if that makes sense, uh, so that we get like an obvious tip, or kind of semi-obvious tip. Maybe if I move forward one, would that make it easier? Yes, that does make it easier. Okay, cool. Don't worry, I've worked it out. It took me a minute. I had to use big brain knowledge there. <laughs> I had to shift where I was stitching from. Oh dear, hopefully it creates some happy memories for the kids because a green head fairy with a bunch of jingly things hanging off something into a fairy spell. Heck yeah! That sounds so lovely. Oh poop, I need now new ones as well. Time to update mine. Oh yeah, new business cards. Yeah, because, <laughs> okay. This happens to me every year at London MCM. You'll go, you'll have some photos taken of you, and everyone will give you a business card, but each photographer might only take one or two photos of you, yeah? Because they're going from cosplay to cosplay to cosplay to cosplay, and they want they want new ones all the time, which is absolutely fair enough. Like, they are there for their portfolio, we are there for our cosplays. Makes sense. It's a mutually beneficial agreement. <laughs> um, but uh, they'll often give you a business card afterwards, and what you end up with is this what a business card. <laughs> And it's it's honestly very fun. Like it sounds kind of intimidating, but it's actually it's not at all. It's very fun because you go back to your hotel room and you look through all the business cards. And you're like, ooh. I hope some of these photos turned out good, kind of thing. Oh dear. No, it's uh it's very lovely. And honestly, I trust photographers a lot more if they've got business cards. Like, i be honest, 99% of photographers, like, they're lovely, and they mean no harm, but if they got a business card, I just feel, like, a little bit more trusting. Oh, heck! Mick! Welcome on in, Mick! How you doing? Wait, oh, I've got my keyboard on here, haven't I? Heck yeah, because you can't see it today. Uh, 
How, how was your stream? What did you get up to today? Welcome on in. You making and crafting, but what are you making and crafting? What's on the agenda today? Uh, dear, hi, Mercury, and hi, Mick. How is your stream? Every time I see your name, I still want to call you Milk, but I'm not going to call you Milk. I'm going to call you Mick, as is your indicated name. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. We are making some little flappy fins. Fantasy fins. There they are. I'm just getting all the sequins attached properly. Ah, oh dear. And podcast, welcome on in. How is your stream? Nick. Unless you need to go get some food or some drink. In which case, please ignore me. Please get food and drink. Please look after yourself. Do not die after your stream, that's no good. There we go. Oh. there oh, yeah. so we're just going around the edge right now to make sure all of the sequins come together they end up being a little sharp but it, on it, it protects the lame which is the fabric in there which is shiny so it's good it's good it's great the details on a sword and some pretty embellishments heck yeah very nice listen we're all about embellishments here we love we like swords but damn, do we like embellishments. <laughs> oh dear, no, it's good to hear it. Oh dear. Hello, this is a new camera angle. Yeah, it's so that you can get nice and close gone. Welcome on in, I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, we. I, I just figured like, uh, what do you call it? The old camera angle, I still normally use it, but for these streams where we are only really beading, I think it makes sense to, uh, to switch so that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I say as I hold it up out of your view because I'm struggling a little bit. I can't find where my needle's going. There we go, we got it, we got it, got it. Oh, I was having a little struggle there, but that's all right, we got it. Oh yeah, oh, no, not quite. Close, not quite. There you go. Time to raid and luck. You're good, Mick. Get some good snacks. Look after yourself after stream. Thank you again so much for popping by. <laughs> Grabs paper bag and briefs. I just had an idea. It's heckin' fantastic idea, in fact. What is your feckin' fantastic idea? I need to know. Unless it's a secret, and then I don't need to know. Do tell, Ned. <laughs> it's been a chill day, uh, Kaina. How's yourself? I'm good, thank you. It's actually getting pretty toasty here at the moment. So we're having less chill days and more warm days. I, and I got some summer dresses, so that now I hopefully won't overheat in the, uh, once, once it gets warmer than this, I won't be overheating in here as much because I have a light breezy summer dress and I could just put like a fan under the table or something and it will like breeze my legs. <laughs> oh dear, heck yeah. What I'm doing for the belt and the dangly things, heck yeah, heck yeah. It is uh, see-through business cards, oh my God see-through business cards now that's revolutionary you would definitely stand out in the pool of business cards if you had see-through business cards like i'd remember that i'd be like yeah this photographer they gave me a see-through business card and i'm just not sure oh my god chaos how good is it heck welcome on in oh my god everyone's popping in how are you doing today how was your streams what were you up to it's thinking about it don't mind don't mind it nightbot's a little slow there it is <laughs> Oh dear, hi Jason, how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. It actually is see-through, but not the business cards. And if you say it, reaches for blapper with intent. <laughs> oh dear, what did you get up for, Chaos? What, what, what was it, Rim? What? Oh, sick. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I should say the same to you both uh, as well. Like, if you, if, you, if you need to get any snacks, if you need to look after yourself after stream, please do. Please do not starve for us. Or, 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 like, become sleep-deprived or anything like that. Look after yourself. Otherwise, it's lovely to have you here. <laughs> oh, I, I, I only here to help Ned. <laughs> I'm a jelly, sorry to Raiden Dash, but I got to sleep. That's fine, I kind of assumed. It was lovely to see you, but have a lovely, lovely night's sleep. Thank you so much for popping by. Oh, dear. Yeah, do not worry, it is all good. God damn it, Apple. Sorry, the enter key is so near the apostrophe. <laughs> no, it does sound like you were like cute stuttering, you know, like, I, I, I. <laughs> it's all right, I would have thought of it as nothing else. 
Oh, 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 there it is. Is it the screaming one next? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I always remember the screaming one. I think it's a whistle, but God does it sound just like screaming to me. Every time I hear it, I'm like, Arr! It's that bit that really sounds like a scream. The really long held one. Oh, it's great. Let's go with that then. Yeah, ooh, woo. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we've nearly gone around the outside. Then we can add the little purple bit at the bottom, which will be really quick comparatively. And then we have to move on to the big one, which I'm a little nervous about. I'm just nervous for how long it's gonna take, honestly. But like, I know what I'm doing, I'm just, it takes a while. <laughs> there we go. You see it becoming like a nice sharp edge. So I wonder if I can show you the comparison. So like at the end where we've not done it, it's kind of open and then it becomes like nice and closed up there where we've done the stitches. It's a bit blurry, unfortunately, so maybe you can't see it. Oh dear. There we go. A few more. This bit's much quicker than adding the sequins as well. Just have to go around the outside. Lining it up's a little tricky, but as long as I sequined it okay, it's not that bad. It's just the bits where like the sequins join or like become like a crossroads, right? And there's a little more difficult there. Everywhere else is all right. All these outside bits here, these are fine. But I am getting close to running out of thread. I think I'll get to the edge, so I think it's okay. What, there it is. <laughs> Very close there. And then through there. And then we can tie this off. Awesome. There you go. It's got boning in it. It's a little bit difficult to bend it like that. But I, I don't want to sew into the purple too much. Ooh. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. I love the the Katamari OST is so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's got so many bangers in it. Right, get that, cut that out of there. Right, it just needs the purple, and then this one will be done too. God, it catches the light, huh? I haven't had any of my tea yet, so I am gonna drink a little bit of my tea. You need fruits? Please get some heckin'. Oh, you got the kimchi one? I have the kimchi one at the moment. Heck yeah. Oh, bless you, gone. Uh, it's been a lot for you. That's fine. Look after yourself. I hope it gets better by the end of the day. Anyone else want one? I would actually quite like one. I'm not really that hungry, but I'll eat it. <laughs> I'll still eat. Ah. Okay. Let's get some purple on here, and then we'll do the bit around the edge, which is this bead. And there you go. <laughs> hermit mode activated, heck yeah. Have a good hermit mode. Oh dear. I think I have more thread coming tomorrow, thankfully. So hopefully I can get the rest of the scales. I don't think it will be ready for stream, I should say, but I think I should be able to get the rest of the scales at least ready for beading by the time we come back next week so that maybe by the end of the week we can put the scales on the tail that's the hope that is, that is the big hope uh because the scales get smaller as they go down it'll be quicker and quicker to bead all of them we're already pretty much past the first two which are the really really long ones and then like the ones that are half the size so we, we're getting there Yeah, I'd really like to, to get this detail done by the end of next week so that we can work on all the wings, the arm wings and the back wings. Yeah, that's the plan. But we're getting, we're getting there. We are getting pretty close, honestly. Honestly, because the dress is done, we're, we're infinitely more close than we were before starting the dress. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get some beads up. Oh 
Yeah, did I hear purple finally being <laughs> Rambo! Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome, 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 welcome. We are doing some beads in purple, but they're like a, a slightly more blue purple. So they stand out nicely from the costume. They kind of look like a nice little rim. Yeah, it's like, it's not the purple beads that completely blend in. It's the ones that are like just a little bit off. But you can see them a little bit more obviously. Like, there they are. See? A little bit more blue. A little bit more blue. My name's going very good. Heck yeah, I'm glad to hear it, Rambo. Are you? How, how is how is the journey to affiliate going? So anyone who doesn't know, uh, Rambo is very, very close to being affiliate on Twitch. Very, very close. How goes it? How goes it? I should do you a little shout out actually now that you're a streamer, huh? In fact, there's a few people I should really shout out here. <laughs> Two seconds and I'll get some of my shout outs on so you guys can find some other people. Uh, I'll just get this beads in. <laughs> you know how it is, beads, right? All right, right. I should really get my shout outs on. We'll start with Rambo because they are very close to affiliate and uh, any extra support will always be good. They're a very heckin' sweet bean. So send them some love. But then we've also got the Feathered Phoenix, who is making a massive, massive costume on their own channel at the moment. Like, if you like what we do here, go go follow Feathered because they're also using the embroidery machine. They're also making a big costume. So I can guarantee that you'll probably like that. Uh, if you're looking for a general crafter who also makes cosplays, check out Black Apple. Black Apple apparently has a big costume in the works, but they also do smaller costumes as well as other bits and bobs in the craft world. So if you like, if you like your crafters, go check them out. Uh, earlier in here, we had Sun Koi. Uh, Sunkoi is doing their welcome back stream basically tomorrow. So they've been off Twitch for a little while, but they're coming back tomorrow. First stream in a really long time, so any extra love sending their way, definitely be nice, especially after having a bit of break off Twitch. Uh, trying to think, was there anyone else who I missed? Um, I'm not sure. I, that, listen, we gave it a go. I'm, I'm historically very bad at shouting people out. Uh, like, verbal shout outs I'll do, but I'm very bad at remembering that there is a shout out function to physically shout people out. <laughs> Oh, no, you're all good. Ah, oh, dear. I'm sorry that it takes me like 10 hours every time. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's get this bit in here. I'm trying to only pick a very small amount of it so that the beads end up being really, oh God, nice and close to each other and not knotted, actually. Really good when they don't knot. There you go. We're going into croc, is it? Nice. I do like me some croc. Ah oh dear. Oh, creates! There's another one. I just need a push. I forget. Heck yeah. If you're looking for oh, looking for more. There you go. More makers and crafters. I can check out creates. They also have an embroidery machine. Listen, if you like embroidery stuff, there's lots of people here you can follow, honestly. Oh dear. Follow them all. Heck yeah! More crafters. More crafters is always a good thing. Dear. There you go. Oh god. Oh, I thought my stitching was wonky, but no, it's actually just the beads. <laughs> Those particular beads are wonky. <laughs> oh dear. That's alright. It still looks okay. I thought, I was like, how have I done that? Some of the beads are going one direction, some of the beads are going another. I, it, it's a mistake, but that's quite impressive. Just the beads are wonky. Little wonky bead. I'm not gonna waste it, I'm still gonna use it. It'll be fine. The only beads I don't use are the ones where they don't send me the bead, they just send me the silver lining. So it's just lots of silver things. <laughs> I'm like, that's fine. I don't know how this has happened, but like it's I can't really use that. Silver is not really a big part of this costume. It's specifically golds and bronzes. <laughs> can't suddenly be adding silver. It's too complicated. And honestly, gold's always been my favourite anyway, so. Two seconds, I might need to blow my nose. Sorry, I, hay fever, innit? I don't want to do that on camera, so I'll hide myself. <laughs> oh dear. I just want to get the beads in. There you go. Right, nice long round of beads. Let me hide. <laughs> oh dear.
There you go. Done a good old nose blow. Honestly, it's not too bad. I, I've had much worse hay fever. Uh, it's just the eczema that really gets me most of the time. <laughs> oh dear, touch wood. I'm hoping it doesn't get worse. <laughs> Alright, thank you for the hug. Heck yeah. Ah oh dear. How close are you to uh, affiliate now, Rambo? You must be. You must be pretty close. I know you got the number. It feels like you have enough people watching you, or I could be wrong. That one I know gets thrown out a lot because, like, it, it messes with your statistics because of the length of the stream. Oh yeah. Then I guess uh, you said you'd not been streaming for very long, so maybe that's what it is, huh? <laughs> like, please, you've hit all the numbers. But you haven't streamed long enough. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so a few more. There you go. And then we can put that in at the end. And then go to, to the other side and put them there as well because this is two sided. <laughs> there we go. Ah oh dear. And. Honestly, when I get the, the, the larger one out, oh. nerve wracking because it's like, it's a lot bigger. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than these. And these already, it's, it's not that I'm worried so much, I suppose, about being able to do it. Like, I know I can do it. It's just, it's going to take so long. And I really want to get this tail finished. But I also don't want to give up on doing the style that I'm doing. I need to stream more days this month and viewer ratings are good. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you are speedrunning affiliate so quick like that bit i couldn't get up i could not get my average viewership up for the longest time there was the i had 50 followers and i had uh what do you call it the days streamed because when i first started streaming i immediately went into what was it uh five days a week six out of streams <laughs> and so i had that all fine but I, I guess it makes sense when you're like, just started out, like, you don't really have anybody watching you. And so, yeah, in my case, I'd, <laughs> I'd average like zero to one viewers per stream for a very long time. I mean, I was quite happy with that, to be honest. I've always been a bit overwhelmed if there are too many people here. But, um, yeah, it was. <laughs> I needed it to go up. Oh. Uh, we got there eventually. Well, that's the thing, like, you do get there eventually if it, if it takes quite a long time. That's too many. That's okay. We take that end bead off. I was like, can I work around the fact that I put too many on it? No. <laughs> take that bead off. And uh, get back in here. And then... Oh god. You nodding? No, you're fine. <laughs> you're acting like you're nodding, but you're not. You're all good. Ah, oh, dear. And... get that one in there and then uh, up to there and then we're almost there like I said this bit's a lot quicker <laughs> it's just it's just the outline I am not sure whether or not I'm going to put any of the like more matching purple beads in a similar pattern to the scales I'm not sure that it's going to be necessary because I don't You'll have the scales leading right up to it, so I'm not sure. I might do. I might do. I'm considering it. But I haven't decided yet. Like, just having some of them, like, as strips down there. It's a journey, so I'm not really in a hurry. If it happens, it happens. I think that's a good mindset to be in. Plus, it's you're basically there. <laughs> so you're okay. But at the end of the day, yeah. Like, when it happens, it happens. It probably will happen. It just can take a while. go and we are around there through there nice little knot and then take that back through there there you go that is both of them as far as i've designed them so far done i might end up adding more details later but that's the two little ones i've still got the bigger ones to do they're nice and shiny <laughs> because they got boning in them they've got like a bit of a bounce i hope you can kind of see that like there's a little bit of a bounce to them so they like they flop <laughs> oh 
Oh, sorry, I don't know if you heard that. That was me breathing in. Oh, dear. Right, where's the big one? I think I put it right behind me. So yeah, just for comparison and size, like, <laughs> it, it is quite a lot bigger, um, which is why I've been a bit nervous about it, because I'm like, this is going to take a while. But I've got an idea of what I want to do. So I'm going to sequin it. Uh, I'm going to have the sequins around in like kind of a very similar pattern to what I've done already. This is why that was a test. They go down here into these pieces underneath where this bit's added in. Um, <laughs> and then I'll need to do these bits over the top. I don't know if I'm going to have these bits over the top sequin with like the lines down them or if I just sequin the outside of it. I am thinking just to sequin the outside of it because they're so small. I think they'll get overwhelmed very quickly. Uh, with, the, with the size sequins that I'm using but I would like to do the extra pieces on the back there and there and then we've got like the lines down it for the, all the individual bits but that's kind of the plan <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about it if it, it's a it's a large one also I don't want to cover too much of the detail on it like these bits that we've put in already I would like those still to be visible so I think just doing the outside and having two lines on the back of it there will be the best so that we maintain that yeah that's all right. Move those to one side, have some more tea. Ah, dear. This one's also nice and bouncy. Uh, it's a bit bigger because it's the end of the tail, but it's still nice and bouncy. This is going to have some of the smaller scales leading up to it too. So this all, this bit down here will all be covered in scales. It's only that end bit that you'll really see so that it properly morphs into the rest of the tail. I mean, I'm really glad that we've got this done as much as we have because I was proper nervous about making this fit as well. I don't know, just think about it made me very anxious, like that I wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna look how I want it to. Or that it wasn't gonna fit in. I think that was the other thing, like would it fit in with the rest of the costume? I think it's ended up fitting in pretty well. I mean, using the same colours definitely helps, but I think just generally it fits in pretty well. I... I'm not really going to be able to use this purple thread. I could do it on one side and then use some more on the other side. Um, this purple thread is near definitely not big enough. But that's okay. We'll do that first because I've got purple thread on my needle and then we can always come back and finish that later. Oh, Nako, thank you very much. Oh dear, I, I really like it. It took a really long time to work out what we were going to do here. I had been putting it off for weeks and then I spent like a whole a whole week basically thinking about it and it wasn't until I came on stream and basically said like I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with the end of the tail like I'm quite nervous about it and instantly I was like I know. <laughs> All it took was talking about it on stream and it was like oh yeah don't worry guys I have an idea now. You know I'd literally been, been sitting on it for weeks I couldn't think of anything. And then I go on live and it's like, oh yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I've got it, I've got it. All those weeks of worrying. Pfft. Don't worry anymore, I know what I'm doing. Because it was just about finding a way that it, it fit the theme without, oh, I love, I love beads all over my lap. Uh, most of those have disappeared. God damn it. God damn it, me and my reflexes, there's one there too. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. Was it corset boning? Yeah, corset boning. Just regular corset boning. So it's not the stiffest, but it's still pretty stiff. I mean, you can see like it, it does bounce, but it like holds it up. I just didn't want to use, I wanted to continue using sewing methods to make the structure rather than going more into traditional armor methods because I'm entering a, specifically a sewing category and and also it's more fun that way for me at least. It's a big challenge. <laughs> it's a nice personal challenge, but I think it'll also work in my favor when it comes to being judged. <laughs> yes. So both is good. Uh, that'll give it some balance. Exactly, yeah, and not be too heavy. That's the other thing is trying to plan the weight around this costume. <laughs> it is going to be a heavy costume and I'm aware of that, but like, you know, I. I <laughs> I don't want it to be unwearable for more than like an hour at a time or something. I want to be able to wear it for an entire event kind of thing. And uh, I think the only thing so far with this costume uh, is that, how to put it, um, 
it is, it is quite hot, but it's alright. It's it's just it feels quite tight. But again, like it is it is a, a corset. It's, it's got a corset and an inbuilt bra in the the top. But then there's underneath that another corset which holds the tail on. So you basically have a corset built over a corset. Um, and while it looks good, it does feel quite tight. I would say though, it was important to do something similar to that. Like I don't know if that's exactly how to tackle it a second time, but it would need to be similar because both of those hold a lot of weight. Are we gonna get a training montage where you get buff? I'll get buff just from wearing the costume. If someone filmed me for the entire day wearing the costume, by the end I'd be like, much much stronger right because i wore the costume they're quite big i think i could do it all in one go though i'd be cheeky i'd be cheeky and do it all in one go there you go get it in a little bit they got <laughs> all that ow sorry <laughs> oh dear poor embroidery machine does not deserve this it's an elbow reach and that's the fear my elbows won't feel it, but the machine might. Uh, cosplay... Who? Yaoi? Yaoi? What's that? I don't know that one. <laughs> what, you mean that I'm not buff enough right now to cosplay that character? Hmm? Hmm? I'm plenty buff enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who the character is, and I'm like, oh, the tentacle lady. Oh, is she buff? I kind of like that. Now I need to look her up. I didn't know there was a tentacle lady. Hold up. <laughs> That's so up my alley. God damn it! Wait, I'll have to have a look at the character and see why I haven't cosplayed them before. The tentacle lady? Are you kidding me? <laughs> right, two seconds. I've got to copy paste the name. Uh. Oh, yes. Ban Grobbit. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Thanks, uh, OBS. I appreciate it. Uh, that's fantastic. And then League of Legends. There you go. And... Oh! Wait, where's the tentacles, though? Oh, has she got... Oh, I see. Wait, is that a tentacle version? That's stunning. <sighs> Wait. <gasps> Ooh. Wait. Oh, this is quite fun. This is quite fun. Yeah, the Kraken Priestess version. Oh. That, that's nice, that is. Oh, has she got like a massive jug as a, as a, what do you call it? Weapon. It's pretty sick. Uh, praising, standing in the kitchen, testing my, the noodles. My favorite lady, that's up my alley. Proceeds to inhale. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, but it is up my alley. Also, Riku. Welcome on in. How are you doing? All our abilities are tentacles. That's fantastic. Maybe that's why I haven't heard of her though, is because, um... Because I don't play League, I don't really see the abilities, I just see the character poses and stuff like that. Oh, that's pretty sick though, thank you for sharing. I can appreciate it. We like to party, heck yeah we do! How goes it Riku? Are you having a good day today? Is the day going well? We are doing beading. <laughs> Did my beads not... No, they've not knotted, but what they have done is go on the inside of my thread. Which I can fix. Bit of a pain. There you go. Take that out from there. Nice. <laughs> we got there, we got there. Ah, oh, dear. Just got off work and gaming on the new phone. Riku. Riku? You got me into Genshin again? <laughs> I have I am I, I literally I had to start again because I got it on PC this time rather than on my uh, PlayStation 4. But you got me back into Genshin, goddammit. I, I turned away from Genshin. I was like, no more Genshin for me. It's it's just a hole for my time. Can't do any more of that. And then Riku was like, but Genshin though. And I'm like, well, you know what? You've you've convinced me. That's all it took. Um, and yeah. 
<laughs> Are you on the Europe server? Yeah, I I'm on the Europe server, but bear in mind because I've had to restart. I'm pretty low level right now. Um, I can't do cooperative yet because I'm too low level. Um, I think I have to actually do a mission to unlock cooperative as well. Send me, I'll add you. All right. I have to work out what I am, but I'll 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 do it. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, I'm a, I'm only a baby bean right now. I can't I can't participate in in cooperative stuff. Oh dear. I got one of my favorite characters though. I got is her name Roselia? Yeah. Um, cause I have those. What do you call it? They give you like the free draws at the beginning to get a character. I got Roselia. Um, oh, they're not free draws. Oh, are they? Well, I didn't pay money, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I like her a lot. She's a very sweet bean. Um, and she's basically... I, I don't know how to describe her other than she's fishnet nun. <laughs> but I like her a lot. And she does ice and she's got a spear. Oh, she is kind of fishnet nun though. Rosaria! Rosaria! That's the one! Not Rosaria the Pokemon! <laughs> Rosalia is fishnet nun. No, Rosaria. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can connect your account if you know the password. Off the top of my head, no. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go online when I'm not streaming. I think. Uh, Bubaria. Yes, yeah, she is the goth nun punk. Yeah, she is fishnet nun. I like her a lot. <laughs> So I'm quite happy. I never had her before. I don't know if that's because she wasn't a character yet. <laughs> or uh, or I just wasn't lucky enough. But I feel very blessed <laughs> by this nun character. She's great. I like her a lot. She's also really fun to play. So, yes. I am a happy bean. I am a happy bean with my fishnet nun. I would like, of course, jellyfish princess lady. Fishy lady princess. I think her name's Kokomi, but she is Jellyfish Fishy Lady Princess. But I'm quite happy with Rosaria. Like, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Oh dear. She's good support. She increases crit rate to others. Heck yeah. She reminds you of the Nun Digimon. <laughs> oh dear. She's so cool, right? She's like very, very hecking cool. I like her a lot. She's also cool because she's cryo but you know i'll be back baby bean help you out i'm so glad my phone has oh my god this is good for genshin now heck yeah oh dear now i'm all right right now i need to get to co-op i need to like get that unlocked but you know we're, we're working our way up <laughs> i'm getting there right i'm gonna tie this thread off up here because i don't have enough thread for the other side and i'd rather just start on the gold to be honest so one side will remain not purple for the time being that's okay. We will live with that. Uh, it's just, I'd rather I'd rather get all the sequining and stuff done because it takes so much longer. Um, yeah. Come back to the purple when I want to finish it off. There you go. Tie that. And put that there. Yeah. back to sequins which means we're also gonna have to i might as well just make a little pile of sequins that have been separated at this point because it takes so long to separate all these bloody things although actually i did just pour out quite a few that were already separated not all of them never all of them but uh quite a few maybe we're a bit lucky this time how about you are you all separated it might just be you and maybe you i think you're a collection of two. Ah oh, dear System one awake. God. <laughs> oh dear. We make Jelly Traveler the most OP character. Heck yeah, it's mainly gonna be <laughs> Rosaria. <laughs> I like playing Rosaria. She's my favorite at the moment. I do have a few characters actually that I didn't have last time uh, already. So that bodes well. Uh, I think my current party is, uh, oh god, who is it? It's the main character, Amber, Rosaria, and Bed Bedu? Bedow? Yeah. Like the, the Thunder Swords woman. General. Ah, oh, dear. 
<laughs> Jelly child, the most obvious. Pear is our Bennett. I don't like Bennett. <laughs> Bennett, Bennett's bleh. I don't like Bennett. I don't want Bennett on my team. Ew, Bennett can go on expeditions all day. I don't want them on my team. No, no, no. No Bennett. <laughs> Amber, Amber is a sweet bean. Budu? <laughs> it is like Budu and Rosa. <laughs> yeah. The, yep. Budu. <laughs> Oh dear, but now my arrow arrow mummy, yeah. She's a good bean. She just sounds like she likes drinking and being a general to the army or something like that. I don't like her as much as I like Rosaria, but I still like her. She's still sweet. <laughs> oh dear. There are a few more I'd like though. I would like Kakomi. There you go. She is basically Meliodad eighth full counter. Meliodad, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know what that is, but I believe you. As a Genshin expert, you are Genshin sensei and I believe you. I just don't know. <laughs> oh dear, right. What should we start with? Should we start with outlining these two little ones? I think so. I think we'll outline the two little ones and then we'll come back to the outside because the little ones are going to be a little complicated and uh, I'd rather get that done early. The other thing is the little ones only... I'm only going through one layer so I'm not going the whole way through it to the other side like I've been doing previously. Uh, just one layer for this. Because we don't have corresponding fins like this on the other side. So it'd look a little weird if we went the whole way through. Now that is going to be a little difficult initially because <laughs> it's sewn in, but uh, we'll, we'll make it, it's fine. There you go. Um, around there. Oh dear, Duster, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, seven deadly sins, Meliodas. Oh, oh. Now I know who you're talking about. Okay, um... I think I want to go through to like there. Maybe, maybe more... Uh, there, okay, it's fine. <laughs> stop, stop poking holes in the lame. The lame's gonna be very unhappy if I keep poking holes in it. It's fine. It's just a little difficult to start with because it's attached at this point. Once we get the part past the point where it's attached like there, it's much easier. Yes, 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 yes. Ah oh dear, I does die. Ah oh, doing, I'm doing better this week than last week. I'm glad to hear it. I hope your weeks just get better and better. Heck yeah. Okay, sorry, it's still close to the bit which is difficult, but it's okay. We're working with it. We're not fighting. We're just <laughs> going with the fact it's a little bit more difficult here. It's all right. <laughs> there you go. And pull that over to there. Make sure it's facing the right way. Yes, nice. Oh dear. Oh, fairy! Welcome on in! I hope you're having a good day. Hi! Oh dear. Oh! Miku's pre- what? Ha! Ha! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Duster. I hope- I hope you have support around you from friends and family. That is rough. Oh dear. We have been talking about Genshin. I don't know if you are a big Genshin player yourself. <laughs> I, I get the feeling most of my chat is not a Genshin player. But that's all right. That's all right. Oh, you're chilling before stream. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh dear. Sorry to hear about that. You can DM if you want to talk. There you go. Oh dear. I'll be honest. I mean, this is no offense, Duster. I am going to have to not talk about that too much on stream because otherwise you're going to get a very upset streamer. <laughs> Sorry, it's those kind of things. It's like uh, probably not easy for anyone to talk about. So I, I, I mean, this is no offense to you personally, and I hope that you are feeling better quickly. But I, I am not going to talk about that too much, if that's okay. Uh, shouldn't be trusted to breed. Why not, Grubbit? Huh? You've been well. You're most of the time a sweet bean here. Sometimes you go across to other streams and act like I'm spying on them, but for the most part, you're a heckin' sweet bean. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, thank you for the horn. I can appreciate it. Ah oh, dear. So kimchi noodles got cancelled as I forgot I had. Le what? Why can't you have both feathered? Why? Why not both? Huh? Hmm? You're gonna tell me kimchi noodles is enough on its own? I I cool bull on that. You need kimchi noodles and the rest of your meal. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Like, I either have to add a lot to the noodles, or I have to have something else as well. We have been looking into the, uh, the frozen dumpling route, where I can just chuck some dumplings in to boil at the same time as the egg and the noodles, and then I can have dumplings in my, my noodles? That's kind of the next avenue for me, I think. It's just finding somewhere nearby that stocks frozen dumplings because we don't really have that many big shops nearby. Well, it that many any big shops nearby so trying to get things like that was like i know that i want it but i can't can't very easily get it but that would be the next avenue i just need to find somewhere to sell them and then i'll buy them i'll buy them out of it like they won't have any frozen dumplings left for anyone else it'd be an in incredible investment if one of the little shops in my area could start stocking these <laughs> that would be good I've not actually had them, so I, I can't say that they're going to be amazing quality, but it's just like another solid to add to the noodles. So I'm not, I'm not that big of a veggie person in noodles, personally. Oh dear, because I have limited space. Oh, you made chicken gochujang uh, stir fry last night. Oh, okay, fair enough then. That actually sounds pretty good. I admire people that can eat one meal and be filled. I have to eat 10 people's worth. <laughs> yes! Riku, me too. Same. I'm like, listen, one meal sounds lovely, but what about five? Uh, what about five? I'm currently drawing a mobile worker from gun- Oh, sick. That's going to be difficult to draw, to be fair. Because, uh, that's, uh, what you call it? They're very detailed. Very, very detailed. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then like, see, yeah! Eva, you can do it now, or like when the picture's finished as well. I don't want to rush anyone to take photos when things aren't done. Ah oh dear. The Chinese supermarket in Reading has a huge selection of dumplings. Oh. Now listen, if I was in England, maybe, and anywhere near Reading, heck yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I will say there are some markets nearby, they don't do like takeaway so much but like you can go in and eat in them and they've got some really good stuff there like you want fresh fresh welsh cakes we got it you want you want also a lot of malaysian food you want you got it heck yeah you want you want a kebab made in front of you heck yeah but um, you can take it away yourself but they don't do like takeaway orders if that makes sense yeah uh dear tekadun ring a bell not to me but then I, I don't do as much Gundam, so I'm not so much a Gundam fan. I don't hate it by any means, it's just not the, it's not the stuff I normally go towards. Somebody else might recognise it. I eat lots of small meals now. Yeah, I'm trying to get more into that, eating like little and often kind of thing. It's difficult to tell your body to do it after you've not been doing it, but it just makes more sense to my routine to start eating little and often. But I'm not used to it. Three main meals and one to twenty small ones. There you go, that's little and often and big sometimes. <laughs> the new train line being built is going to connect my town to Reading. Ooh, Reading's going to be zone 11. Oh god. <laughs> that's exciting though. Heck yeah. Uh, I want new train lines. Actually no, I don't even want new train lines. I just want more frequent trains. <laughs> you know, trains were just cancelled. Like, all, all of the smaller train routes in the south of Wales were just cancelled for four days because it was Easter. It's like, oh. So, I still had to go to work on Saturday, I will say though. The replacement bus service they offered, it was really good. Like, it was actually better than the train. If they wanted to do that every day, I wouldn't mind. It was just like, it was a really, really fancy coach with like, it, it was like if the double-decker only had the top deck, you were so high off the ground. And it was so nice. 
oh my god yeah no you know what i would do that replacement bus service every week it was also huge and obviously a lot of the regulars weren't catching it because they wanted to drive in instead or something so it meant that i got to be pretty on my own <laughs> it was very nice Med we finished three years ago. That sounds about right, honestly. Yeah, I can I can believe that. Uh, found I can eat a whole bread alone after eating lunch. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just bread? I switched on our dinner plates to small plates because both hubby and I were seriously starting to grow sideways and it actually worked. Oh, sick. I guess, yeah, because you'd still be looking at a full plate, right? Oh, so Oz, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. We're having a chill day today. We're doing beading. We're doing sequining. Getting all the stuff ready to put the tail together even though we're not quite there yet because we still got scales we're getting there it's like one of those things we're, we're slowly making our way along honestly i would really like to start tackling the wings a bit more so i've done the pvc pipe stuff i just need to kind of get the rest of it done but we're not quite there yet unfortunately we're getting there but we're not quite there Oh yeah, the students they beams will be lurking. Oh, thank you, Riku. Have a lovely, lovely lurk. It's lovely to see you as always. But yeah, take care of yourself. Get some good foods and stuff. I should say actually, if you haven't checked out Riku, Riku is also a streamer. They have some new setup over there as well. So heckin check them out. Give them some support. They're a heckin sweet bean. Very supportive of the streamers. I have problems because there is a serious delay for my storage till my brain is hard enough. So I just kept overeating. Yeah. I feel like my brain, unless I'm eating sweet foods, when I'm eating sweet foods, it very quickly will be like, that's too much, Shirley, you've had enough. But with savoury or salty foods, it never really tells me that I'm full and like I can just keep going. Oh, and that's where the noodles become a problem because I'm like, I could just eat the entire five pack. I don't want to. That's like probably my daily intake of calories and more. But like, you know, I could. <laughs> I could if I'm not stopped. Ah oh dear, I love all the food. Me too. I love foods. I will say I have less of a sweet tooth and I'm more savoury. I love savoury food. But uh, I mean, I eat sweets. I just don't eat that many of them. And like, I'm very full of them very quickly. Okay. Yeah. Where? Where? picture uh of the mobile work i'm working on oh give me two seconds and i'll have a i'll have a peek i'll have a little peek i just need to get the sequence zone in oh i say this is really thin fabric so my needles really shouldn't be having any issues